Well, November 22nd and uh, January 3rd and I'm still a walking. February 4th, I think. Hi, welcome back to Love, Laugh, and Lose Weight. I'm Leanne, your host. Guess what? I'm going to go ahead and stick my neck out on a limb and say I made it through the winter. It is now March 16th, 2019, and yes, there's still some snow on the ground, but in a couple of weeks there won't be, and I've made it through the worst part. I made it through minus 50 degrees, uh-huh, five, zero, minus 50, walking every day, walking every day. And if I could do that, hey, who needs parking? I don't need parking, and it is great. I can park out where I park, which is out in the neighborhoods, and walk to the hospital. I feel really, really good about that. I wasn't sure, as you remember, at the beginning of the winter whether I was going to make it. So now I'm going to show some video, some footage of making it through the winter. <laughs> well, November 22nd, and uh, thank goodness it's a relatively warm day on my way to work today because, well, it's actually minus 14, which isn't that warm, Celsius, but there's no wind. So that makes a huge difference. And it's a good thing because guess what I forgot? Oh, my scarf. Bummer. But here I am walking. I love it. You know, I park far enough to make sure that it's at least a 45-minute walk there and then 45-minute back. And then I try to take Doggy out for a walk. That's how I get in my 12,000. I don't know if I'm going to make it through the winter. I really don't. When it starts getting slippery and icy, we'll see. But so far, I'm doing good. So, uh, that's, uh, encouraging. It's December the 9th today, and guess what I'm doing? I'm still walking back and forth to work. And I'm fine, I'm not even cold. I'm going to stop so that the thing doesn't shake, but trust me, I'm a-walking. Now, part of my strategy is to bundle up. First of all, today's not that cold of a day. It's about minus 11 right now. So... On really, really cold days, I'm going to have to get a ski mask, which actually I had a ski mask a long time ago. I don't know what happened to it, but the ski mask will keep my whole face nice and and uh, it will keep my whole face nice and warm. But, I, but on days like today, my strategy, you just bundle the heck up. I, I, I got my th flappies over my little ears. January 3rd and I'm still a walking. Feels good to be walking. We got more snow since last time I showed it to you, but it's warm this week. But I want to say something. <laughs> My theory that I don't have to worry about the cold because I could just bundle up. Huh. Huh. I ain't saying it because we on YouTube, but you know what I wanted to say. I tried to go walking. We, we had a cold spell between Christmas and New Year's. There was a cold spell. And I thought, that's okay, I'll just bundle right up, I'll be warm, it's okay. Uh, the day I went out, it was minus 27. Now that's Celsius, but still, minus 27. And then minus 40 with the wind chill, according to the TV. I didn't actually feel any wind, but apparently minus 40 with the wind chill. Okay, folks, when it's that cold, I almost got frostbite. I wasn't out very long. I, <laughs> I lasted about 15 minutes. When it's that cold, don't, don't go walking. Go to the gym. If you don't have a gym membership, go to the mall. You can do a lot of walking there. It's not as nice. It's not as beautiful. This is beautiful. You go get yourself some frostbite. Any piece of exposed skin, your eyelashes, their, their icicles, any piece of exposed skin, frostbite. So, but it's January 3rd, and as soon as it warmed up a little bit, it's only like zero today. It's great. I'm walking. Feels good. This morning, it was minus 33, and then with the wind chill, minus 50. Minus, do you know how cold that is? My snot, your snots can freeze in like five seconds. I'm going to tell you how I was dressed this morning. Okay, let me show you. See, okay, I had this sweater on. This sweater is on. Then, by the way, underneath, I've got, I've got my longies on, my long johns, sweater. These little mitts, no good. Well, they're, they're a start. You need them for a start. They're little dollar store mitts. By the way, normally they're good enough to hold your steering wheel on your car. Uh-uh, not now. I'm so cold, I'm driving. The steering wheel is so cold that even with these on, I have to keep, like I'm driving with one hand up at the here to get some, okay. 
So you put these on, then on top of these, you put on these really nice, see these really nice gloves, but they're not good enough by themselves. You put them on top of the little middies, on top, okay? So both hands, both hands like that. Put them both on. Then you got your coat on. Oh, you got your scarf. Your scarf is wrapped all the way around, all the way around up to the nose. So put it up like that. So you got it, got it up over the nose. Cause you don't want any piece. So you got it, you got to tie it down now. I'm doing this fast. You don't want any piece of your face more than your eyeballs to be seen. So up to your nose. Then you got your little hattie on. Hattie over the ears, okay? Hattie over the ears, over the scarf and over the ears. Put the hattie on, hattie over the ears. Then you got your hat, your coat, which has, okay. Hattie over the ears, scarf, two mitts, two of them. Then you cut your coat on. Then, if, and remember, your face is covered. Oh, and don't make the mistake of wearing your glasses. Your glasses are gonna get all fogged up. Those have to come right off, put those in your pocket. Cause you don't make that mistake. I, I tried to make, if you're buck, buttoned up like that, scarfy over the nose. If you do that, guess what? You can actually walk in minus 50 without dying, but it's close. But the really cool thing is here at the hospital, Haha, <laughs> we've got underground tunnels. Those underground tunnels go everywhere. I never ever use them normally, but I'm gonna show you a picture of them because they're awesome right now. Hi, I've made it back to my car now, about to drive home, but I just wanted to talk because, um, we've got bicycles on my, it's cold out there. Oh yeah. Anyway, uh, I just wanted to talk because I was thinking of something. I'm starting this intermittent fasting, which isn't, really is going to be Leanne's version, but I got the idea from you guys giving me enthusiasm and a new spark for life, and that's exciting. And I said I would try everybody's stuff. This is what I'm trying first, and I got to give it a chance for like six months or so. If it's not working for me, then I might try, I don't know, Kirsten gave like 21 day fix. My first instinct is that the 21 day fix I don't like those words, 21 day. Doesn't seem sustainable to me, but she's assured me that it is sustainable and it is meant as a lifetime uh, change. So, you know, I give that a go. Hi again, I've made it to my car. Guess what, it's minus 22 today. Now I don't wanna say, aren't I a superstar braving the cold, but okay, aren't I a superstar? braving the cold but when you bundle up it's not bad and but i have a policy now my policy is and it's not as cold as last week last week it was we had two days of minus 50. no i did not say 15. 50 five zero with a minus in front of it on those days and even today it was kind of cold minus 22. i do most of my walking at the hospital in the underground tunnels it's great so I park at this closest, closest spot. See, there's my little, you see my little car? There it is. I park at this spot that's really close to the hospital and it's like a five block, five blocks. Once I go walk five blocks, then I can go. I've discovered that the tunnels come. So like the last three blocks I'm walking underground in the tunnels. And then during the day to get in my 13,000 steps, I spend like two hours just walk around in the tunnels. It's nice and warm in there. Okay, we're still out walking. Bridge Club is right here. So uh, I'm gonna head in now. Well, in about another block. Okay, talk to you soon. So that's it. Sweet. Love you lots and I'll see you next week. By the way, next week it's going to be one week closer to spring. We're probably going to have no more snow in about three weeks. Done. Finished. Goodbye, winter.